Hello, I'm Liu in China. Oh, it's been a very long time since the last time I made a tutorial about ArtCam. Mm. You know that ArtCam come to the final version 2018. But whatever, it's still a very handy tool for us to use our CNC router. So in this tutorial, I show you how to make the two paths as this. When we make a door, there's some ramp surface here, and we want to engrave some patterns on it. If we do the relief engraving, that takes a lot of time. Um, it's a waste of time. And of course, it's very easy if you have a four-axis machine. Um, if your sense router have a B-axis, and you can do it very easy. But I think um, most of you may have a normal sense router with only three axes. So let's talk about how to do this in a three axis sense router. Okay, so in ArtCam, we create a new model. Um, I don't make it the full size as four and eight feet. We just make it this size to show you the concept of the work. Okay, so we draw a square. I make it 400, 400. That's the same size as this work place. And then hold and center in model. Okay. And then we go to the offset, make it uh, offset distance about 60 millimeter and inverse. We keep sharp. Offset. Okay. So the distance between these two square. You see it's uh, 60 millimeter. Okay, so now I draw a rectangle. Click and I hold control button. Click. And then I right click to finish drawing. And now I need to put these two nodes in the same level. So I right click and then align nodes in Y. Okay, so now they are in the same Y coordinates. And then I give it a size and make it the uh, width to be exactly the same as what we have here. Yes, it's 60 and for the height, I think we should make it the one we want to have it on the um, wood board. So, how about 12? Mm. Maybe we'll get with a bigger one, 20. Okay, much better. Okay, so now we select this and we may select this. We go to the two real sweep. And these two are already auto selected. And uh, this one we need to change the direction to go to the same direction. And then we select this and add cross section. And now Keep it here and we can apply. Uh, before we apply, we already see the preview on that cam. It's a new feature. Okay, apply and cancel. Okay, so we have this relief ready. Now we just want to draw some patterns here. So how about we just uh,
add some circle on it. Maybe a little small would be better. And then we also can draw some uh, something like this. Right click. Okay. Okay, something like this. And then we go to the block and rotary copy, block copy, and uh, the rows one and the columns make it six. And uh, X gap, I make it 10 maybe. Apply. Okay, same as okay. So I close this. I use the arrow button on the keyboard to move this to the center of the page. Mm, same as okay. Or we just uh, Move it at this, and then we get rid of the head and the tail. So we have all the patterns inside this shape. Okay. So now we select all these. We go to two path, and uh, in the three D two path, here is create feature machine in two path. Click here, and then we use the. Uh, Center line feature, feature depths. We can make it five, and uh, we choose a two, maybe a uh, end mail six millimeter. And give it a step down, the same value. Okay, and uh, we define the thickness. We give it thirty. Okay. So now, calculate now. So the two paths are made here. Um, for the safety, we can make it lower because we set the zero point on top surface. Okay, much better. And. Uh, to show you, before show you the results, we should also make another two paths to show you the shape. Mm. Of the relief. So we select this and uh, selected vectors, finishing tools, we use a four nose, six millimeter. Okay, give it a raster. Uh, offset, okay. Um, Now we wait until it's finished. Okay, down. We select the central and we make a uh, area clearance and I make it overcut. Also this one.
Okay, so we now can simulate. We remove the center. We get the ramp shape. And now it's the time to see our feature machining. See? We get it down. You can see it slowly at this. The depth is constant. You can see the depth is constant in this way. So you get a constant depth of um, profile or area clearance to pass on a ramp surface or even on a curved surface. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.